Hello, internet, your friendly neighborhood gremlin here. And today, we're throwing a tea party for Tia. So prepare yourself for a mainly pink, slightly blue, very pastel build. This build was a fun one. I went in with one idea of what I wanted, and what we came out with was entirely different. I guess entirely is maybe a bit of an exaggeration. But we go from sort of like an elegant Victorian kind of deal to cute and pastely. Because as much as I really wanted to use this wallpaper and find things that fit with the wallpaper, I was not succeeding in doing that correctly. So when we accept that we cannot do this fancy Victorian thing that we thought we wanted to do, we end up using the white wedding wall again. I do feel a little bit like I just keep using the exact same things over and over again, and I keep telling you that I'm using the exact same things over and over again, but I can't help it. I mean, to be fair, this build is entirely different than the last build I used the wedding wall in, so I suppose we can reframe the problem and say that I'm showing you about the versatility all these items have. They can be used in so many builds, which is good, because there are a limited number of items in Animal Crossing. I now have a pop filter. so. Do tell me if you think I sound any better. I think I sound better, though I don't know because again, I feel like somehow I don't pick up on the bad audio things because I've never really minded the way I sounded, which is why I did so many videos with the original mic. But this does sound different than it did before, so different might be better. Hopefully someone can sit through the video and listen to me talk. I don't exactly know why I thought that the ranch table was going to be a good idea for this build in this style. Mostly I just didn't have anything else. Thinking back on it now, I probably should have just used like the elegant furniture in white, maybe. Instead, however, we just kind of change our minds and go in an entirely separate direction. And also use like a lot of the wedding stuff, which felt weird at the time while I was doing it because wedding stuff seems like, I don't know, for weddings. But also it was cute and white and pink and blue, and it matched, so we used it a lot. I suppose not actually that much. We used like the tables and those like flower bouquets, and then outside we used the bench. So maybe not that many items from the wedding pack. Oh, and the candles. We're gonna put a bunch of the wedding candles outside. We can talk about that when we get there. For now, I have finally accepted my plate, and we're changing things up. So we go with the pink striped wall and the blue floor, which is, again, going to change again, but not until after we come back in from doing outside. So get used to the blue floor, but don't get too attached to it because it is going to leave. Now, for your sake, I cut out a lot of me fiddling with this table because I just kept going back and forth with patterns because I wanted to use it but I didn't want it to be identical to the smaller tables because, I don't know, it just looks dumb if they're exactly the same. I do not know why we're only allowed to pick the pattern that goes on the bottom of the tables and not the one that goes on top. And now we're gonna try real hard to have mismatched chairs and you're gonna watch me do the dumbest thing in the world where I change the pink one to white and then move the blue one over instead of just changing the pink one to blue. Like, dumb. Absolutely dumb. But we have made the room smaller again, which I like better. I don't know. I'm kind of into this long shape lately. You may have noticed, given the past couple builds, if you've seen them. If not, then this is new and fresh and totally cool. I'm not just a one-trick pony, I promise. Here we try the table again, and then finally accept defeat, and we actually use the shabby chic table. I don't remember what it's actually called, but the one that has the shabby chic color. I'm very excited. It's going to be Halloween soon in my game. Just somebody please bring on the spooky items. I want that spooky fence so bad, but I also didn't want to go to a treasure island and just acquire it because that felt wrong. Hilariously, I set my game back in 2021 because I was like, I just want to be able to go through the whole year and then sort of catch up and do the next year. Like somehow I was under the impression I was just going to time travel a bunch and we were going to get through a whole year before the year was over. My game is on September 2nd, so we are not that far ahead. To be fair, I have taken some breaks, and I have been playing every single day, like in-game day. I don't just like skip around to different parts of stuff. I had watched a video right when I got the game about money tree patterns, and how you can predict when your money tree is going to give you good shit. I have been keeping notorious notes every day, and no, there is no pattern. Though I have, in fairness, screwed up a couple times, and maybe that screwed things up, and so we, we keep going. Every day, I plant a money tree with 11,000 bells in it, and I'm hoping that somehow we will get to a place where there is a pattern. Because there was a pattern for like a hot minute, and then I put the bells in, 
and then it decided to change its mind. So, to be fair, I got real lucky, and the day that I put a lot of bells in was still a money day, but the money day after that day was supposed to also be a money day, and it wasn't. And we have reverted to chaos. No patterns at all. It is all lies. I think I might have screwed up again, so we are trying again. Do. Pray for me. Keep me in your thoughts. Let me have a money tree pattern. Do any of you have money tree patterns? Is this something this guy just got like randomly lucky about or what? Because I need to know if I'm just being crazy because I'm crazy or if there is in fact a method to the madness because I really need it to be worth it by now. We're too far in to give up. God, sorry, that was super irrelevant. Anyway, I am now going to put a cardboard standy cherry blossom tree in the middle of this build because if there's one thing you can count on me to do, it's make questionable decisions. But also I kind of like it. Do you let me know how much you like it or how much you hate it or why you're still watching me make all of these questionable decorating decisions because I am clearly slightly unhinged. I mean, that was something I knew already, but now it is something you're learning, I guess. Um, I don't know, hop on the wagon, come along for the ride. It's fun, I promise. Thankfully, the cardboard tree is the end of the questionable decisions in this build. We are gonna try the bunny day stuff for a hot minute, but we don't use it, so it's okay. I'm just gonna move the wedding flowers from in front of the tree to on the sides there because I didn't know what to put there. I didn't know if I liked them in front of the tree, if that made it too busy or not. So um, let me know what you think. Should they have stayed in front of the tree or should we have left them in the corner, which we apparently haven't done yet. First, we're gonna have to decide that we do not want wall items, which sounds incredibly wrong coming from me, but we're branching out. We can't just be the same all the time, right? We just complained about that at the beginning of the video. Out of 10, how much are you annoyed that I refer to myself as we? I don't do it consciously. I don't know that I can help it, but um, let me know how awful it is. Because if it's like extremely annoying, maybe I can try and not do it as much. I make no promises. The exterior sort of takes a minute to get going, especially the struggle of wanting a pink house, which I wouldn't have thought would have been this difficult to find, but apparently it is. I mean, honestly, Animal Crossing, we demand more pink houses. I don't know, maybe it's only me. And I mean, it's not like it's a problem I've come across before, I don't think. I mean, you would have thought it would have been a problem with Flora's house. I do not remember what I made Flora's house look like. Was this a problem I had then too? And I'm just totally not remembering. That is entirely possible. And it wasn't even that long ago, which is maybe kind of embarrassing. And um, I don't know about the door plate. Sometimes I feel like it just has to be there, like because it's an option. And then other times I managed to successfully sort of quell that pressure. Today was not that day, I suppose. I don't know. Does it look okay? Is it cute? I think it might be cute. I am at least hoping it's cute. Now we're trying to put trees behind the house. They are not quite as tall as I wanted them to be, but we soldier on with the plan because apparently putting the house at the back a lot is not the thing we're doing anymore. This build ended up being very sort of symmetrical. I say is we're gonna build an asymmetrical yard, but like everything around the house is symmetrical and all the things inside were symmetrical, which is a thing I try not to do very often. I tend to find symmetry kind of boring, but also maybe really appropriate for the suburban housewife vibes that this build is giving off. Let me know down below. Are you the kind of person who wants all the things to be symmetrical or do you too embrace chaos? Also, maybe let me know if you've made it this far, because I do not know how that stupid audience retention graph works. I cannot figure it out. My brain is breaking. I should really probably shut up about that because it's not interesting, unless it is interesting. I would find it interesting if someone were talking about it on their YouTube channel, so maybe other people also find that interesting. I don't know. Let me know down below if you think talking about the YouTube statistics is extremely annoying and cringy, or if you too are also interested in the way this thing works. Because again, I'm not complaining or trying to say I need a lot of views or I deserve a lot of views. I just find the way it works very fascinating. I like numbers and graphs and that sort of thing, so I just want to know how it works. We are here attempting to put a seating area outside, and we're gonna work real hard to try and make it work, and then we're gonna scrap the whole thing and put in a gazebo instead. Because, I mean, there are like two tables inside. Why do you need to sit outside, right? What kind of tea party is more than four people? Don't be crazy. But we do make a nice sort of area with the bench in the back. I don't know, when I tried to take a picture of it, it wasn't as cute as I wanted it to be, but I do think in real life, like if you were sitting there, it would be nice. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just go somewhere and it would always be cherry blossom season? I'm really very sad that Animal Crossing doesn't do like a lilac season. I suppose maybe lilacs aren't everywhere, but 
in the summer. You could just have like a nice little lilac season or something. Maybe that also happens in the spring, late spring. I don't know, but it does happen. Here we've just got lilacs growing everywhere and it's beautiful and it smells nice. But again, like cherry blossoms, it only lasts for like a couple of days. Though I suppose realistically, lilacs grow on bushes and not on trees and we don't have tall bushes like that. Turning the trees purple would probably not be the way to go. So um, maybe that's why they don't have one. And I don't even really know why I care that much because I don't have any hardwood trees on my island which is gonna suck come fall because I'm gonna want them to be orange and they're not gonna be orange. Maybe if we someday manage to actually decorate my island, the forest side can have the cedar trees and the palace side can have the hardwood trees. And that would be a nice contrast, right? I do hope you don't mind, but I did cut out me fiddling with the pathing because it took literally forever. I just kept going back and forth and making the circles and then making the circles with a different path. And then we land on this, which is not nearly as many circles as I thought that I wanted, but I couldn't make them look right. And I do realize that the second circle by the bench there looks really weird from the top view, but when you're looking straight on from the front, I do think it kind of looks like there's a path from the bench to the gazebo. I don't know, I guess you can let me know if I'm delusional and it looks dumb from the front too. And now we go inside and realize we didn't put rugs down and we thought we wanted to put rugs down. It's actually been a minute since we'd had to come in and touch up the first build before we're done. Here my heart breaks because the lacy rug isn't white and like I know in my brain that it's not white and most of the time I like that it's cream and not white. But in here it didn't work and then I was sad. So instead we use the rose rug and then we have to change the floor because it doesn't match anymore. Though I mean really I was just looking at it, it was probably fine, but Anyway, now we've got this floor. If you're still here and you want to share your opinion, let me know which floor you liked better. And here's like a full upskirt shot of Tia, which seems inappropriate. Animal Crossing? I cut out the photos again. I do think maybe I'm just gonna leave them out all the time, unless there's like someone out there who's really gonna miss them, which if so, speak now or forever hold your peace. But we have successfully come to the end of our video, so uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Goodbye!